Good morning Year 4, welcome to the first video of this lockdown. We are now entering Spring 1, Week 2. I hope you've been able to find the Fluent in 5, which is the mental maths for this week. If not, take a look at our website. We will, during maths, be looking at a new unit, which is Unit 10, all to do with money. As you can see here, I do have some resources that we would have been using in class, but feel free if you've got some at home and you've asked an adult to use some resources or if you can make them yourself. So our first lesson for this week is I am learning to add two amounts of money. So let's take a look at question one. It says, Ella bought some cheese for £5.35. She also bought a bag of apples for £2. How much did Ella spend altogether? So as you can see, there is the cheese and there is the bag of apples for £2. You can also see the pictorial representation within this work page. So we've got £5, we've got a 20p, a 5p and a 10p. That all equals £5.35. And then we have a £2 coin. So it says here in our little helpful bubble, it says first add the pounds. So we have five pounds, add two pounds, which gives us seven pounds. We then add the pence. So as you can see, our two pounds here has no pennies to add. So 35 add zero gives us 35, which altogether means that Ella has spent seven pounds 35. Moving on to question two. Question two says, add the pounds and then add the pence. A says two pounds 15, add seven pounds. And B says five pounds, add three pounds 75. Why not pause the video and have a go yourself? Let's take a look at how we might lay it out. We could possibly lay it out how I've shown you here which is column addition. But to save us time and to use the question as a clue, it says to add the pounds, then add the pence. So let's take a look at A. A will take the pounds. So two pounds add seven pounds equals nine pounds. We then have 15 pence add zero. So 15 pence add zero pence gives us 15 pence. We add these two together to get nine pounds 15, which is the same as our answer that we might have done if we used column addition. And again, in B, we add five pounds, add three pounds. Five pounds add three pounds is eight pounds. If we add the pennies, we've got zero pennies from the five pounds and we've got 75p. If we add those two together, we get 75p overall. Finally, we add those together to get eight pounds 75, which is the same as what we had in our column addition. Moving on then, let's take a look at question number three. Farah bought a banana for 55 pence. She also bought a box of cereal for £3.20. How much did Farah spend altogether? So as you can see, we've got our £3.20 for our cereal and 55 pence for our banana. Here, they've added the pence together first. 20 add 55 gives us 75 pence. We then add the pounds because we can see that 55 pence has no pounds. So 75 pence add three pounds gives us three pounds 75. So Farah spent three pounds 75 altogether. This then moves on to question four and five. Question four asks you to add the pence, then add the pounds. Question five asks you to add the pounds or the pence first. So you get to choose for that one. Why not pause and give it a go before I go through the answers? Did you work them out? Here they are. So, question number 4A was £4.70. 
Question B was £15.40. In question number 5A, it was £10.45. In B, it was £20.35. In C, it was £5.95. In D, it was £3.90. Why not pause just to see how I work them out? Moving on to questions 6 and 7. Question 6 talks about Peter bought some cheese for £5.35. He also bought a loaf of bread for £2.40. How much did Peter spend altogether? Looking at our lovely bubble that gives us a bit of extra information which might help us as well, it says first add the pounds. So £5, add £2, gives us £7. Next add the pence. So 35 pence, add 40 pence, gives us 75p. And if we're add, adding them together, we, we know that Peter spent £7 and 75 pence all together. Similar to the ones that we did earlier. So, take a look here at question number seven. This is where it starts to get a little bit more trickier, so it's important to take your time through reading the question. Ruby bought a DVD for £9.15. She also bought a notebook for £3.85. How much did Ruby spend altogether? So there we've got the DVD for £9.15 and we've got the notebook here for £3.85. Here in our helpful bubbles, it's saying add the pounds together. So we can see that £9 add £3 equals £12. Okay. It then says, add the pence to make one pound. We know that 15 add 85 equals 100, which is 100 pennies, which means it's one pound. So therefore, 12 pounds add one pound equals 13 pounds. So Ruby spent 13 pounds altogether. And you'll be able to see that in those workings out. Now, why not give that method a try in questions eight and nine? Pause the video and have a go. In question eight, it asks you to add the pounds first, then to add the pence, and then to add them together. In question nine, it says to answer these questions, add the pence to make one pound first. Pause the video and have a go before I go through the answers. Did you work them out? Let's take a look through them. 8A was £9.60. 8B was £9.95. 8C was £28.90. 8D was £23.80. 9A was £10 exactly. 9B was £16 exactly, 9C was £20 exactly, and 9D was £30 exactly. Now, if you found any of those tricky, what I suggest is having another go or taking a little look through at the beginning of the video. If you have any further questions or struggling, don't hesitate to let us know via Purple Mash when you upload some of your work. Taking a look then at unit 10. This is the first practice and the only practice to be done this or today on Monday. So practice one gives you lots of different workings out on the ones that we've just gone through. You might need to get some scrap paper so that you're able to do the workings. Or if you're able to, why not use the surrounding area on this page? Try not to skip ahead in our presentation as I'll be going through the answers. I will see you all tomorrow for our next video and I wish you the best of luck.